I think that when people make choices, they are moving towards either, well, Christ and heaven, or Christlessness and hell, or godlessness and hell. All these little choices of the bad rather than the good, they are steps on the path to hell. Now, of course, in, in, in the mercy of God, uh, anyone, any time in God's uh, merciful sovereignty can be confronted by the Lord Jesus like Paul was on the Damascus Road and made to realize that everything in his life thus far has been perverse and flawed and in, has involved some measure of turning away from the real God. And there can be repentance and new birth and faith and new life and the person like Paul will go through life saying, I was on the wrong track and the Lord found me. Actually, that's what I would say about my own conversion. Uh, I can't bring myself to use the language, I found Christ. Uh, I only feel that it's true when I'm saying, Christ found me. Everyone is en route for either heaven or hell. Lewis developed that thought, of course, didn't he? He said, there are no ordinary people. Everybody you meet is going to be either a creature more glorious than anything you can imagine, or a creature more dreadful than anything you can imagine. The one thing that you can't say is that we're all of us standing still and marking time. We aren't. We're en route to one or the other destination which uh, is the thought that drives me as a preacher of the gospel to beg folk to come to Christ and find life.